So let's get right to PFF. We'll go to Pro Football Focus here. So I already set it up to start drafting. Now, the good thing about this one is you can do uh, trades, but also it has this meter. Last year, it didn't have this meter and you'd just be offering trades and you had no idea if, if they thought it would be a equitable trade. If it's not equitable, it won't run it through. Let's start the, tra the draft. I'm not going to do any trades right now. I did set it for fast. You can even see it right here. So let's start. Why don't we do a trade? Pulling Kaufman wanted 86 for 89 and 130. So what we're going to do is... I'm just looking right here. So Buffalo. So we're going to offer 89 and 130 for 86. And they're saying it's a 41% chance to be accepted. So... Why not? Let's try this because we didn't really trade in the last one. I want to try to do some uh, some trading here. Let's offer the trade. And I don't know why this thing doesn't come down, but it's rejected. It's in red. So it is what it is. Let's start this. So you can see they're just running like crazy here. Green Bay got Jermaine Johnson with, the, with our former first round pick. I didn't see what they had uh, in the second. So this is really cooking now. Oh, sorry about that right away. I did not see uh, that extra one that you wanted to do. But let's go. Let's go with what we have here. So they don't offer trades on PFF. What they do is if there are teams interested in trades. Now, Buffalo is here. They're interested in a trade. So if you want to do that, let's go. What do you want? 86, 227, 89, and the 227. Okay, 54%. We're going to do this. Why not? 54% flip the coin. Let's see what we got accepted. All right. All right right away So we've moved down three spots. You can see right here the little squiggly here with Las Vegas Buffalo So we moved down three spots good example of ranking disparity Parnum Parnum was a seventh round pick and PFF. Yeah That's 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 the thing with these websites uh, EC Everett some of them the usability is good well the rankings suck. Uh, I think I think PFN has more usability than PFN, PFF, uh, but I think the rankings are the best here that I've seen. And frankly, they should be. They're probably one of the best uh, football analysts around. So, okay, we did make the trade. Trade accepted here in green. So we're going to resume. So it's going to pop the next three down and, and put us back up. So it's checking. Now there's four teams that want to move. Do we want to try to trade again and get some more picks? I mean, we can. Uh, Tampa wants to move. We had only moved two spots down. Green Bay is three spots down. And then these other ones, I, to me, they're too far down. These types of activities, I like to try to draft in the 2022 and not so worried about getting extra picks next year because, frankly, we're a 10 and 7 team. We got Devontae Adams. We have a few holes. We can contend. I think the Chiefs got weaker with Tyreek Hill overall leaving. And I think we have a better chance of catching up to them and being contenders. So why would I want a mortgage now for later when we should need to try to win now? That's my mentality. So we could try something with Tampa or Green Bay. Let's let's see what Tampa has. So it shows the picks they have. They also have the 2023. I'm not worried about that. So we're going to go move down two picks. That's 25%. So if we want to get a two, uh, 248, that's that's later in the seventh round. If we want to move down two picks and get another seventh round pick, we can do that. Uh, we can look at the draft board now. Again, I'm not. Sh I'm trying to get it as large as possible, but but you can also scroll. So this one's a little. The functionality is a little bit different. You can search, of course, but this is the overall rankings here. Parham here, like you said, top ranked from where we are. Not really concerned about quarterback right now. Damian Pierce is here. It's a guy I wanted. Uh, we did we did move up, so we got a couple picks here, so that's good. Let's see, we got the 130, so we gave up the 227, but we got the 130. So I think that's uh, that was a very strong trade for us overall, uh, for where we were. Like Damian Pierce, they got him ranked pretty high. Uh, frankly, this guy. And I saw him in the combine. His knock was that, oh, he doesn't catch the ball a lot. He didn't do a whole lot of that in Florida. But, I mean, he looked pretty solid. in the tape where I did see him catching the ball, I, I, he was fine. So, 
I like this guy. He's a, he's a guy I would be looking at here in the third round. I'm not so sure. One, like I said, Jacob's durability. And two, are we even going to be keeping him? He might be moving on here. Darian Beavers is nice. Uh, they usually have more here. So here we are. So also, uh, I'm a PFF subscriber. So there'll be more stuff in here, uh, like advanced stats, if you want to take a look at that. So this is Darian Beavers. So what else do you got? I think the chat likes Pierce. Uh, I like Pierce. I don't know uh, of anybody. Let's see. Uh, Rob Lockhart, welcome. I see you. I see you come in. Let's see how how to search here. To me, it's not as uh, functional. Now you can do multiples, so we can look at offensive tackle here. Max Mitchell. See, they have Max Mitchell here as 89th ranked. So I'm thinking he's probably going to be gone. I like this because they showed the picks right here. So we, the 227 is gone. We moved up and got the, the 130 by moving three spots down. To me, that's a steal. I don't think he's going to be here at 126 if we're looking at him. Again, we don't have picked the same players over and over again. And also, more people want to trade if we want to do that. Uh, I'm thinking we should probably do some drafting, though. So let's look at wide receiver. And I'm looking through the chat and I'm trying to scroll here. So you can do multiple positions. So if I want to do quarterback and wide receiver, they kind of group them together and then just exit and it, it wipes it out. So what do you guys think? What, what should we do with this situation? We've moved down three picks. Uh, we, we picked up a fourth rounder, basically moved down three spots and exchanged our fourth, our seventh for a fourth. Uh, to me, that's a steal. Absolute steal. Um, I like Damian Pierce. I don't trust Josh Jacobs to last a full season. I think the other backs we have, I'm not as reliable on Kenyon Drake running inside unless he has huge holes. Uh, this guy can can hit and and move and, and get uh, move the chain. So that would be my guy. Let's see. I'm just looking through the chat. Don't see anything with the chat. So we'll scroll down. Uh, let's see. Zion McCollum still there. Cam Taylor Britt, who was gone uh, in our last draft before we even had a, a pick at 86. So this is pretty nice. Again, uh, PFF's a, a nicer uh, website here, so you can see that. They give grades by the game. Uh, looks like he kind of came on later on. I don't know what happened here. A pretty good coverage grade here. Again, remember, we're in the third round. Uh, that's not bad. People are thinking, I I guess so, but I usually a lot of people, especially uh, what I'm saying is especially early on. We're I mean we're still in third round. I know there's a lot of people. People have some favorites that they'd want. I know we've said that in the last one. So so remember, let's let's go a defensive tackle. So uh, what what this is good at is we'll we'll add offensive tackle and then we're gonna add running back and we're gonna add uh, defer. They call it DI, interior defender, defensive tackle. So it can sort multiple positions here and give you their rankings. So you can kind of see these here. So if you look down. Let's see. What about defensive tackle? Here's defensive tackle right here. And I can just sort that out straight. So... To me, I want Damian Pierce. We forsook the running back position last time. Unless you guys have a compelling argument for another player, I'm going to go with them. So you can see Noah Ellis here is ranked 131. Uh, so he'll be, he should be around maybe by our next pick. So yeah, uh, some, some of the uh, rankings are, yeah, I have to agree with you on that. Uh, they're kind of suspect at uh, PFN. I don't hear anybody saying anything. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go with my pick, the one I want. And we're going to go with Damian Pierce. So now I feel comfortable that we can run the ball one way or the other. Um, okay. We're at 126. Now, remember, we do have a 130 here. Let's see. We're just going to take a look at trades. Now, Tennessee's right here, 131. So five spots down. Bengals want to go 10. And then the Giants. Uh and I'm just I'm just gonna play with this. So we're gonna throw the 126. They're not gonna take that. 204. Eh, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna go far that far down for that. So 
I think we ought to just straight trade at this point, especially, let's see. Let's see where Parham went. Let's see. Did he go? Yeah, he had to have gone, right? There he is, right here. 99th to the Cleveland Browns. Johnny Storms Beats, how you doing in saying, let's go Raiders. Hopefully we trade down or trade down the second round. So trading up, uh, moving up to the second round. Uh, maybe if there's somebody they really like, I could see them doing it. Um, uh, Patriots have had a habit with, you know, moving up to get players they like. Uh, that could be a Belichick thing or... Or, or them, they could take that, that attitude along with them. So we'll see. It's going to be very interesting to see what we do in the draft uh, in April, to be honest, in my opinion. Uh, McCollum's here. Uh, we got Neil Farrell. Uh, let's see. Uh, did Noah Ellis go? JoJo Deman, Kobe Bryant. No, he should still be there. Let's see. Noah Ellis is down here at 131. We could grab him again. But I, I like to kind of pick different players. So uh, let's see. Let's see. Fourth round. Farrell can place him on the nose, but you'll have to live with some inconsistency. Uh, well, I mean, in the, in the fourth round, I'm not. It would be nice to get, you know, a stud starter. But if we can't, it's not the worst thing in the world. To me, missing on the all those first round picks we've had in the past, that hurts a lot more. Let's see. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think we should do here? Okay. I got the running back I wanted. We still need defensive tackle. We can take a look. We could we could move down with Tennessee a couple picks if you want to, but let's look at tackle. Let's look at positions of need. Corner. And we're going to look at defensive tackle here. So uh, we go with McCollum. We were looking at him last draft. Sam Houston State. Let's take a look at safety too. Wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind some safety in the middle rounds either. Let's see. Here's Bell. Let's see. What quarterbacks are available? What safeties are available? So we'll, let's just okay. EJ Perry. Jack Cohen. These are these are kind of low ranking guys. I mean, we can I wouldn't want to pick one here. But, I mean, we can, uh, honestly, we can, to me, we can get one later rounds, like 164, 165. We haven't had our fifth round double pick yet. If we want to do that, we can grab we can grab a guy like Perry or Cohen. I know uh, you guys said that. Try the Cincinnati trade. Napoleon Kaufman, he's wheeling and dealing here. Let's see. Uh, that's 10 spots down. So, let's see what we, what we have to give up here. So, of course, that's lopsided. Oh, we get a 209. Let's see. The 174 is out of the question. So uh, 209, that's uh, like late sixth, early seventh round pick. If, if you want to do that, we can do that. And maybe grab a maybe grab a quarterback late if you want to do that. Um, but to me, moving down 10 spots, uh, you're not get, uh, we're not getting the same value. I, I think the last trade we had was pretty, pretty awesome, but... Uh, we're not going to get much uh, out of it. So what what do you guys think? Weatherford. Uh, right away says Weather Weatherford is a cool hybrid player that Graham would like. Mm, where's he ranked at? Did I pass him up? Where's he ranked overall? I'm just 136. Uh, remember, we have... We have uh, we pick four uh, picks later. So if you look here, we got this one from Buffalo. So I'm thinking maybe him here, right? And maybe roll the dice, get somebody else, and then hope one of these guys don't pick them. How about that Raider way? Uh, let me know. Um, I wouldn't mind McCollum here. Uh, we can always use more cornerbacks. Uh, we're going to be in an offensive happy league or division rather uh russell wilson's going to be an interesting uh 
was last year an anomaly or is he on the decline? That would be very interesting. Uh, Denver, the big thing with Denver is I think they can run the ball maybe better than anybody. So let's go with McCollum here. We're going to go with him here. Unless you guys uh, have any other uh, questions here or any players you want to bring up, we're going to go here. Chris Paul from Tulsa. Let's see, show more. We're going to go. They don't have analysis on him. I don't know why. That's weird. <laughs> uh, let's see. They're kind of funny, too. Uh, if you don't know. Um, uh, let's see. Anyway. Hang on. Co uh, Chris Collinsworth is. I don't know if he straight out owns PFF, but he's he's part of it. So that's his little thing. Here's a guy. They're kind of making fun here. A little tongue in cheek. So uh, so here are the stats for him. I'm just looking to see if anybody, uh, anybody wants anybody else going once. I think we're going to go with McCollum. Uh, I'm assuming we're not going to get Gilmore. And we need depth. So let's see what happens. So, yeah. So Weatherford did not get picked. We're still here. And there's people that want to. <laughs> so teams interested. Kansas City. Nope. I don't trade within my division. And then uh, these are too far down in my opinion. 151, 155. To, for them to do that, they'd have to give us like a 2023 uh, pick. I don't think they have enough this year to make it worthwhile in my opinion. So we're going to stick with the pick. Uh, let's go. Let's go with uh, Weatherford here. Let's see. Let's see what they have to say about him or not. It's kind of interesting how they they usually have uh, more here. But I mean, even with the mid round picks, I, I would be expecting a little bit more to be honest. So it, it is what it is. So let's see. It's by game. I'm just. We're gonna go with him. I mean. Let's, let's go with him. So our next two picks, 164, 165 in the fifth round. So we got a corner, we got a safety, and we got the we got the running back that I wanted. <laughs> uh, Noah Ellis is here, defensive tackle. I think that would be a nice little pick. We got the back-to-back -back picks here. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm, I'm just scrolling down here. I'm surprised Pierre Strong is here in the fifth round. Honestly, I know he's from a small school, but I mean, to me, that would have been that would have been a nice steal at that point. Zonovan Knight's still here. Mm, I don't know about that one. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just scrolling down, looking at names here. So let's go with No Ellis again. We're gonna go with him. And there's two trades. The Eagles want to trade. They're not going to, they're not going to give us a 194. That would be like a 2023. I mean, we could do it. Let's, I'm just looking to see what it would take. A seventh round pick. Mm. No, nah, I'm not doing that. Who else? And Minnesota. It's too far down for me, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Safwan Ben Malik. Hey, everyone. I hey to you. Glad you could come in. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. So we got Noah Ellis. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with some positional needs. Wide receiver. So this is pretty good. You can look uh, by position. Tackle. We got tackle, we got corner, we got safety. And we did not get a linebacker, so uh, DeMarco Jackson, Micah McFadden. Let me take a look at him. Let's see. Let's look at his stats. Had a little drop off last year. Uh, 2020 looked pretty well. Little drop. Didn't do so well against uh, big competition here. That's kind of a question. Let's see. Ellis and Thornton, he ran a 4-2. Uh, 
Are you, uh, Dominique, are you a reincarnation of Al Davis? Are you looking for the speed? <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, he he loved he loved the uh, he loved the speed. So, uh, what are we gonna do, guys? Let's see. Where is he ranked? He's way down. That's why I couldn't find him. One eighty two. Six three one eighty two. Oh, had a nice had a nice bounce back here from twenty twenty. You can see here. Uh, okay, competition, not too bad. Yeah, right, let's go with him. Why not? Uh, I don't mind getting some speed at the, at the end here. Uh, if anything, it's just going to make us even more dangerous. Do we need, uh, Safwan says, do we need Tyra Matthew? Yeah, uh, if we're going to run a couple uh, safeties, uh, split safeties, uh, like has been mentioned before, Plus, he can he, he usually plays strong safety, but he can play free safety. He can bounce back and forth, and he honestly he's a playmaker. What we need is turnovers. Uh, what we had six interceptions last year, absolutely pathetic, absolutely pathetic. We need we need more turnovers. So, and yeah, I, I the last time if you guys were here, uh, I'm pointing the wrong way here. Last time when we were here and did this, the PFF grading was not here. This was blank before, so I'm not going to necessarily agree with that. We're going to take a look at this. They gave us a B minus on this trade. I thought it was awesome. I mean, we moved down three spots and swapped a fourth and a seventh. What are they? What are they smoking? This should be an A right here. Damian Pierce gave it a B minus. I give that at least a B. Uh, okay, solid C minus. They they had Weatherford ranked a little lower uh, than where we I think where we picked him. So. Yeah, 136, 130. Noah Ellis, A+. We, we need a goal line uh, run stuffing kind of guy anyway. So I, I don't mind that at all. Uh, didn't like Thornton too much. Not too worried about overall grade, a B. Uh, pretty good overall. Uh, I think we probably did better in, in this one than the, the uh, PFN one. But I want to know what you guys think. When you have great coaches... Then after you have great coaches, you get great players, you have a great organization, and you tell them one thing, just win, baby.